It's just valuable time that the Bearcats can take off this clock. A high lob, and again, they just can't connect. And this ball goes back over to the Cowboys, and well, Gatlin's coming up a little lame. The moment I went up, I just felt my knee come apart. Initially, as soon as I came down, I told my coaching staff and my teammates that I heard it pop and I, that I knew something was wrong with it. Fans, and you may have seen the uh, severity of the injury there. We won't say any more than that. We'll wait for any uh, official news from Sam Houston State if we get word, but certainly our thoughts with that young man. So I just kind of limped up to the training room, and back there, that's when I kind of broke down a little bit because I knew my season was over with. It was nearly two years ago DeMarcus Gatlin's basketball season came to a sudden end. Gatlin attempted a dunk, and as soon as he jumped, his kneecap broke. He began a rehab process that took last season away as well. I never maybe had doubt that it wouldn't, that he wouldn't do what it takes to get back on the court. I guess I just had more doubt in uh, the physicality of it, of whether or not it would heal and whether or not the next surgery would take after having won. Do you ever have thoughts that you wouldn't play again? No. I always believed that I would play again. I always thought that this would be like a blessing in disguise, and so far it has been. In the time away from basketball, Gatlin had a chance to improve himself, both on the court as well as off the court. Better teammate, uh, better leader. Um, uh, more coachable. <laughs> Uh, not in a bad way, but more coachable. It was almost like just being another coach. So I got to see things, you know, more from the X's and O's, from that side of the uh, ball game. You know, you don't ever want someone to get hurt, but I think that sometimes things can turn out for the best, and maybe more than sometimes. I think a lot of times, or all the time, things turn out for the best. And I think sitting over there for a year and a half, he gave DeMarcus a little bit of a a different perspective of the game. And so when I was doing therapy, I just told myself, you know, things will get better. It may not be perfect today, but tomorrow it might be a little bit better. On November 14th of this season, 644 days after suffering a devastating knee injury, Gatlin suited back up for the Cats, coming off the bench in the season opener against Austin College. What was that first game back like for you? It was a pretty good feeling. It was just good to be back and just, you know, playing on Sam Houston's court again and just knowing that a year and a half of me struggling and wondering when I was going to return, that that was finally over with. He played just 11 minutes that first night, but still managed to score nine points and grab eight rebounds. Well, I think the hardest thing at the beginning was just him, um, you know, a year and a half ago, he was, you know, quote unquote, the man on our team and we didn't have a lot of depth and you know we depended on him a whole lot and then last year we all of a sudden got pretty good and we got some really good players and so I think just him being able to fit in and understand what his role was going to be you know I think he was really unsure of that. Now a starter averaging 23 minutes a game Gatlin has been a key factor in the Cats hot start to conference play winning seven of their first eight games in the Southland Conference. I didn't know where I was going to fit in, kind of, because we had such a great team last year and I didn't want to come in and, you know, I didn't want to be the reason why we didn't succeed this year. So it's just like me just going back to being patient and, and waiting for my number to be called. For ESPN3, I'm Jason Barfield.